What's up, guys? Welcome to week number two of Road to the Super Bowl Championship, whatever you want to call it. You know it's the Ultimate Team. Now, let's. Ooh, shit. You already saw last game. I ended up going to overtime with the Cardinals. And uh, we're trying to hope that uh, this time we can blow out our opponent in week two. Now, a couple key changes. I got a new right tackle. Well, technically not new. Andre Smith. It was, I had the same one, but this time I got the football outsiders version. And he also adds a plus 10 to speed run, which is nice. Also got a new Marcel Reese breast cancer awareness version. Uh, adds uh, to ground and pound and speed run. But, you know, I see speed run right here. Pass rush is also a 99 now, thanks to Patrick uh, Cameron Wake. And um, I did have him before, but his was run stuff. Now, it's, uh, it, now he does man defense and pass rush. And he's also two overalls higher. Um, as you can see, there's not that big of a difference. I think he's just faster. And awareness might be up one or two. I'm not sure. Finesse moves in 94. I gotta, let me check the other camera. Uh, yeah, he's two speeds faster. One up awareness. Finesse move went up. Power move went up. I think block shit went up two. Tackling, I think, went up. What was tackling? Oh, shit. Somebody texted me. Tackling went up. Uh, ooh, a lot. All right, that's pretty good. Pursuit went up a lot too. So yeah, that's hopefully he'll make a big impact. This is gonna be his first game, and everybody else is the same. Um, I think Janikowski was here last last time, unless I got him and then didn't, didn't tell you guys. I don't remember. But yeah, guys, we're heading into week number two, and I'll hit you guys up with the highlights in a second. Peace. All right, guys. I skipped his first drive because. It was nothing really significant. He just drove down and then missed the field goal. So now it's my ball and it's my turn to show him how it's done. Now, I have LaShawn McCoy back here. And this dude is one elusive guy, man. Look at that. Just wiggle wiggle with like no space. He got 22 yards like it was nothing. Nice. Hit him with the play action. Wes Walker on the curl. Hit him with the stop. I could have got more yards if Wes Walker wasn't fast. Um, yeah. Anyway, another play action. Uh, no one's open to check it down. Shady McCoy is a big part of this game. Now, I'm just hoping, I just pray that he never gets injured this season. <laughs> because if he does, then it's a real tough stop. Um, I've never done this play before, but I don't know why I decided to try it. It got me some yards. Right now, I'm just trying to power my way into the end zone. And it doesn't seem like he's going to be able to stop me. Look at that. What is that, Josh sitting? That dude is a blocking machine. I don't know, like, his... Impact block and whatever you want to call it, man. That, that shit's wild. Now, uh, honestly, I don't think this dude was good on offense. I mean, he had a couple reads, um, but I don't know. I, I, it's not like I was even blitzing him at all. Um, if I did, if I did, he probably wouldn't get no time in the pocket. He was really pass oriented. Um, he didn't really have like a run game, which is, you know, I can't really blame him. I mean, well, I can kind of blame him because running in this game is hella easy. Throw it directly to, I think that's Richard Sherman on that left side. No, it's not Richard. Who's the other corner that I have in? Uh, I don't know. TJ Ward smacked the shit out of them fourth and eight, and we get the ball back. Jake Locker not looking too good on his first, uh, second drive. Now, this is why play action plays are nice this year because, well, they were last year, but I think they're nicer this year because of the way uh, the Blitzer um, responds because they go for the running back. And I don't know. What can I say? Call me. Call me slipping. The screens, screens this year, um, I believe I said it during week one, they're hard as hell to stop um, unless you absolutely know they're coming. And I didn't know he was running a screen out of that formation, so he called me. And with Chris Johnson's speed, if he hits open space, uh, it's, it's no catching him from there. There's a track star for a reason. And uh, I do mix up screens myself. I don't know why I threw this. Um, I think it was just one of those times I'm like, okay, it's third and two. I'm just lob it up and see what happens. But I, uh, he catches the pig on three. And that was also a dumb idea because what do you know? He goes right back to the screen and scores again because Chris Johnson, like I said, open space, no one is catching him. 
So I figured out what he likes to do on offense. Um, now that he's found something that is a weakness of mine, I'm pretty sure he's going to run it a lot more. Um, screen after screen after screen after screen. So my thing is I'm going to run my own, but see, I, when I do my screens, I also look for other players across the field, just like quick routes. Um, because what I find is when people see a screen, they tend to bring a youth, like whoever they're using, whether it be a safety, they bring them down. So sometimes you can bomb people over the top if you just get enough time. You got to drop back quick as hell and hope uh, that their DNs are retarded. Look at that cutback. This is just is just a nice play. Now, whoever that is, number 89, um, I think that's Jared Cook Jr. If you're a fucking slow ass would just got down the field and picked up a block, that would have been touchdown. And bad read number one. That was my fault. Had him on an out route, threw it way too late, and <sighs> award me EA. Right place, right time, read the play perfectly, and the raw Bowman apparently has still hands now. Anyway, he could have got third, four, first down on that, third and three, but somehow he spent like 80. He pressed the button too many times, let's just say that. Ah, oh, fourth and two, he gets it. Doesn't matter though, I'm, I don't feel him. Look at it again. Okay, he hits the screen again. He, we know this coming, so probably just gonna have somebody in a contain or, or the flat. You know, most of the time, passers gets to now. I think that's Cameron Wake. We almost got a sack. Fourth and six, he goes for it, and this is why it pays to have a player with high awareness like Charles Tillman um, sitting in the curl to flat zone and just jumps back and go gets the ball. Nice. Um, and this is where Terrell Pryor is a beast. I don't know why I jumped. I'm freaking retarded. Hit him with the hurry up, I believe. Same play again. Um, this time I learned, don't jump. Just keep running and we get in the end zone. So it's fourth quarter. Three minutes left. Uh, and I, Jarius Bird was in the right play to uh, right position to make the play. For some reason, I just got no reaction out of him when I clicked on him. And hell, why? But it's all good. Now all of a sudden, dude's back in the game. The game's tied. Two minutes left in the game. Giving the boy to Shady McCoy, man. And it looks like he's gone. I don't even remember if I scored on this play or not, but I know I dude when, when Sean McCoy gets within five yards of open space, he is gone. And who's that Roddy White? Third and fourteen is a nice little corner out. Third and goal on the nine yard line. Can we get in this end zone? Uh, he run commits, and I hit that out route with Wes Walker. Um, last time he got it. This time, nope. Uh, fourth, well, whatever. Fourth quarter, last play. This ends up being the game. Uh, baited him into throwing that to T.J. Ward. And well, guys, heading into week three now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, leave a like and comment and thumbs up and all that shit. Peace.